Hello, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you this uh, cable. This is a uh, Ronin S to a uh, Sony camera with the infrared that you can control the shutter control of your camera using the record button of the DJI Ronin S. And this is a little hard cable, so it's like you shape it and it stay the same. And everyone that use this cable know that this is uh, a little hard to point it right into this infrared point to control the camera. Now this is not supposed to be pointed right into the eye, but it can be like this, it can be like this, but it sends a signal. Uh, but this is like, you know, you put it on and then it's like this and then it's move and so uh, it's a little not so easy to deal with this. So as everyone know, I got a 3D printer two weeks ago and I started to build and print some stuff. Uh, some of the stuff that I print is not relevant to this channel and drones and videography and stuff. But when it's do come to print something that have to do with photography and videography and drones and like I've done on the last video uh, about the cover for the battery lock for the DJI Phantom 4 uh, link in the description below about this video uh, so I like to share it with you so this is the cable and I design and print myself this thing here and this is basically you mount it on the Ronin S and you take this a black lens right here and you put it on like this and you shape it the way you want and this is always going to stay in front of the infrared window so the way you install it I'm going to show you now here I have my own nest I'm going to show you it's a rubber band and you depends about the size that you have but what you do is a rubber band and you mount it and I'm going to show you in a second you might not see when I do it but you're going to see it right after yeah so basically it's going to be like this and then you connect this uh, cable which is like stiff cable you connect it on and then in front here and then I take it into the lens here you're gonna see it now and this is how it look like so you can see it's hold the infrared eye right in front of the infrared which is right here and not on the top of the camera here down where where is the grip so this is how you install it and of course if I going to start and I'm going to show you that it is send a signal and now when I click record you will see that this is going to start and record start stop start again stop again and this is very very simple of course I printed in white because I don't have any more uh, black filament for the printer but you can print it any color you want I will order black filament and I will print it in black which is more fits to the color of the camera and the runniness so as you can see here from the side this is how it look like I'm going to share a link on the description below uh, the file that you can uh, download and if you have a 3D printer you can print one for yourself very very nice instead of fixing it and when you move the camera it's like jumping all the time now it's going to stay still you just have to put a stronger uh, rubber band here so it's hold it very sturdy you can maybe take it into your computer, make it more stronger, change it, do what you want. I give you all the rights to do whatever you want with the file. Share it on a, a comment below if you want to. 
but I think this is like very very nice uh, things to print. That's it for today. I hope you like this video and this ID. Uh, as always, stay creative and I will see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.